Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's video we are going to be making some explosive paintballs. Now to make these explosive paintballs, basically what I have are these empty shells that I ordered online. Here's an assembled one, but basically it's just two pieces that you seam together. I'm going to go ahead and try and take this one apart with my thumbnail. There you go. So basically there's two halves, one with like this out lip and the one with a little ridge that sticks in. You put them together and push them and it makes a paintball. They are very expensive. I paid like almost a dollar each for them and I got 50 of them. And if you were wondering and wanted to buy them yourself, I shall let you know that they are actually hard plastic. So I wouldn't recommend shooting anyone, except of course I did already in my peanut butter and jelly paintball video. So go check that out if you haven't already. But the topic of today's video We'll be making our own explosive ones with some snapdragons, some eight round caps, and potentially some little firecrackers. Just a little side note, but this isn't for today's video, but in a video that I might upload later this week, I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing, making some paintballs with the contents of these two shotgun shells. So stay tuned for that. But for today's video, we're gonna start with some more basic around the house stuff. So I have some eight round caps, I already made one here. This has actually a full two rings or 16 individual little pellets. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that one aside. Uh, it rolled away of course. Now go ahead and select another male and female piece. Now these are called snapdragons. And what they are is when you throw them on the ground they explode. So I should be able to fit at least two per container. Let me find the correct half here and then squish it together. The next one I might try and put three in. Let's try that right now. I ordered these off of eBay if you were wondering. You might be able to get them cheaper locally somewhere. Like I said, I paid quite a crazy amount for them, but having a YouTube channel help me, helps me justify that. They are really fun. And because they take so long to make and load, 50 actually will last you quite a while, so no need to buy more than 50, I don't think. I'm not sponsored, obviously. Just shout out, I like them. Oh, see there? Two halves with the wrong side. Make sure nothing's sticking out of it like that just was, because then when it goes through the barrel of your paintball gun, it might get jammed. So there is the snapdragon one loaded with four snapdragons let's go ahead and make a few more then go test them so here's all the ones that i made up for today here is my one with full two rings of caps this one here was the four snapdragons this only had two snapdragons in it this one is actually a mixture of airsoft bbs and caps which may help squish the caps a little better and make a nice shotgun spray this one here is two firecrackers. They kind of broke open, so all you can see is the gunpowder. I'm just doing the firecrackers because people may argue, like, put firecrackers in there. It may look really cool. But firecrackers need a flame. They don't just ignite on their self. If you had matches, you could put matches in with them, maybe. Might work, but I don't have any Strike Anywhere matches with me. And they're actually kind of hard to find nowadays, the Strike Anywhere ones. And here is two Snapdragons and some eight-ring caps from a cap gun. Let's go outside and test them out. So since we're not going for distance, I'm just going to be shooting against that tree right there. And I took off my hopper so I could load them in one at a time. The gun for today is my $20 stealth little gun here. So I'll announce each one as it goes in. I'll start with maybe the lamer ones and get to the more exciting ones. So here we go. Safety off. First up, let's do the straight the piece with two eight ring caps in it. So 16 caps against the tree. Firing in three, two, one. Holy smokes, that was cool. All right, moving on. Here's the firecracker one with just two firecrackers in it. I don't think anything will happen, but we're gonna try anyway. Firing in three, two, one. Nope, just a bunch of smoke from that one. Alright, moving on. Let's do the one with two 
snapdragons in it. In the hopper it goes, just so you don't think I'm doing something fancy. Against the tree, firing in three, two, one. It made a noise, but not as much fire. Let's do the one with four snapdragons now. Firing in three, two, one. Okay, lots of lots of rocks and stuff were flying back, but not much noise. Now for the last exciting two, we have caps with more snapdragons. Firing in three, two, one. Bit of spark, lots of rocks. And lastly, we have the one with, one with two or four, sorry, airsoft BBs and one round of caps. Firing in three, two, one. One. That almost got me right in the face. Alright, little surprise for you guys. Alright, so here I am back with my gun. So this time I have a hopper, meaning I have a full rounds. I have nine with a, with just full of uh, the eight round caps. And our target of choice today is that microwave right about there. So we're going to do some first person shooter and do some multi-fire against that microwave. Here we go. So firing in three, two, one. That's about it, let's go check out the damage. So here you can see my caps. There, there's one there. There's one right there, there. Okay, so they're everywhere. And then looking on the microwave now, didn't break the glass, it's just plastic paintballs, but you can see the burn marks. One I hit the top of kind of skimmed off. These need to hit something direct to explode. But that's it. I might put some of that in slow motion for you guys if it looks cool. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.